good morning students so today we are going to see about some of the input devices and the output devices so already from the input devices we see uh, keyboard and mouse today we are going to see the some other input devices okay the first one is the scanner so scanner or used to enter the information directly into the computer memory that means by scan we can uh, use the scanner machine for the purpose of uh, scanning the images or uh, any data or informations and we can save it into the computer memory so the it works like the xerox machine the scanner convert any type of printed or written informations including the photographs into the digital format which can be manipulated by the computer so this scanner works same like the process of xerox machine it will uh, it will convert all the written informations like photos or uh, words characters everything into the digital formats and it again it can be then processed by the computer so this is the uh, so scanner is a, one of the input devices okay then the next one is the fingerprint scanner so you all know about the biometric right we are we also used in school also the biometric so that is the fingerprint scanner so finger uh, fingerprint scanner is a fingerprint recognition device used for computer security equipped with a fingerprint recognition feature that uses biometric technology so uh, today we are uh, we are using this uh, technology in many places in many companies or many schools many offices we are using this biometric or the fingerprint scanner because of for the purpose of security so uh, we, we you, you by using this uh, biometric or uh, fingerprint scanner the uh, what there the, there will not be happen any mistakes or any error will not be happen so for that purpose for the very uh, very clear security purpose we are using this fingerprint scanner so the next one is the trackball see the images the trackballs look like this so in the mouse actually we use the trackball inside the mouse right so here the trackball was above the mouse uh, so we want to move the screen by using this trackball just we want to roll this trackball so that we can able to move the screen uh, screen so the trackball is similar to the upside down design of the mouse the user moves the ball directly while the device itself remains stationary the upper spins the ball in the various direction to navigate the screen movements so <clears throat> the mouse remains the same and actually we want to move the ball so that by moving the balls we can able to move the screen we can able to navigate the screen so this is the trackball the next or the next input devices is the retinal scanner retina means the eye scanner okay so this perform retinal scan which is a biometric technique that uses unique patterns on a person's retinal uh, blood vessels so uh, it is also the scan that means already we saw about the fingerprint scanner the same way we are using the retinal scanner that means it will scan the retina retina means eye eye blood vessels so by uh, it's also same like that biometric technology the next input devices is the light pen see the images this is the light pen and light pen is a pointing device shaped like a pen and which is connected to the monitor so we are connecting this pen with the monitor and the tip of the light pen consists of a light sensitive element so in the tip of the um, pen was connected with the sensitive light sensitive element and it will detect the light from the screen enabling the computer to identify the location of the pen on the screen screen so what is the use of this pen means we can able to draw onto the screen directly by using this pen 
you can say many films and all i i i think um this pens are used in some uh, films um that means we can able to write this light pen directly on the screen by uh, here on the tip of the pen they are having a light sensitive technology by that the it will send the signals to the computer okay so next input devices is the optical character reader so this scanner is also like a reader like it will read the characters it is a device which detect characters character means letters printed or written on a paper with the ocr a user can scan a page from the book so this machine is able to detect a letter or any letters or any characters written on the paper it can able to scan any pages from books the computer will recognize the character in the page as letters and punctuation marks and stops so the computer what will do by by scanning the letters the computer uh, will scan the uh, letters on the punctuation marks used on that books and it will store it in the computer so the scan document can be edited using a word processor so this is one of the input device the next input device is the barcode scanner or the barcode reader and the qr code reader so this is used for the scanning the uh, barcodes and qr codes you know right so the barcodes and qr codes barcodes means the uh, what is the what is barcode that means uh, the lines thick and light lines are called the barcodes and qr means the box rectangular box having a square shape so that is the qr code uh, qr code so these machines are used to scan the barcode and qr code the next one is the voice input system that means it's uh, like mic so microphone serve as the voice input device it capture the voice data and send it to the what what the microphone will do it will capture the the voice that means they will capture the voice data and it will send the signal to the computer so all these are the input devices that means we can able to give the input and again it will send that input to the computer and it will store in the computer so here it will what it what what the input we are giving to this microphone the voice input it will take the voice input and it will store in the computer then using the microphone along with the speech recognition software can offer a completely new approach to the input information into the computer so this is for uh, capturing the voice the next input devices is the digital camera so digital camera means it will capture the images images and the videos uh, in digital form so uh, after the after it capturing the images and videos and it will again it will send it to the computer so when light falls on the chip through the lens it convert the light rays into the digital format so when the light uh, will fall onto the chip through the lens through the lens when the light falls it will convert the light rays into the digital format so this is also one of the input device then the touch screen uh touch screen means you while we are going to any malls means you can see this touch screen so here the touch screen is a display device that allows the user to interact with the computer by using the finger <clears throat> so you can communicate with that computer by using your finger by touching if uh, by touching with your finger you can able to change the icon or you can able to select the places everything right so this is the um use of touch screen it can be quite useful as an alternative to the mouse or keyboard for navigating a graphical user interface so yes so we, instead of mouse or instead of keyboard we can use this uh, uh, touch screen keyboard so used on the wide but uh, touch screens are used on a wide variety of devices such as computers laptops monitors smartphones tablets cash register and information kitchens even in mobile now we are using the touch touch screen right so all these are the input devices of a computer the next one is the keyer 
um keyer means it has the many keys keyer is the device for signaling by hand by by using the hand we are sending the signals so modern keyboards have a large number of switches but not as many as full size keyboard so it have many keys um, uh, but not like the keyboard keyboard have many uh, uh, many keys right not like the keyboard but actually the keyer has uh, keys that means number of uh, um, a uh, number of switches typically this number is between 4 and 15 the key are differ from the keyboard which has no board but the keys are arranged in a cluster so what is the differences between keyboard and keyer means um here has no board we are using we are uh, we are uh, clicking the key keyer by using our fingers we are handling it with our hand uh, with our fingers so and here um, it have this keyer have no board and all these keys are arranged in a cluster based that means um, the form of cluster if the keys are arranged so these are all about the input devices so what are the input devices uh, first one is the keyboard mouse then scanner then fingerprint scanner trackball retinal scanner light pen optical character reader barcode and qr code reader voice input systems digital camera touch screen key all these are the input devices of computer next we can see about the output devices the first one is the monitor monitor means the screen right the tv screen or the laptop screen or the computer screen is the monitor so monitor is the most commonly used output device to display the information so what is the use of output devices so input device devices means we are giving the input and the cpu will process the input and in the output means in this um, the result will be displayed in the uh, output device so monitor means we will get all the informations will be displayed in the monitor right so it looks like a tv picture on a monitor and are formed with these picture elements called pixels so monitor can either be monochrome which will display text or images in black and white or can be color so it will monitor will display the screen either in black and white color or in color format it will be uh, display in multiple colors there are many types of monitor available such as uh, crt cathode ray tube um, liquid crystal display and led that means crt lcd led like that many types of screens uh, monitors are having uh, we are using nowadays the monitor works with the video graphics a record the video graphics card help the keyboard to communicate with the screen so the monitor works with the uh, uh, vga that means video graphic card what is the use of this vga card means it will help the keyboard to communicate with the monitor so it act as an interface between the computer and display monitor So usually the reason motherboards incorporate built-in video card. The first computer monitor was part of the Xerox Ultra Campus um, computer system, which was released on March one, nineteen seventy-three. So you can write some important points here, like uh, um, so it is used to display the inf information we are using this monitor. So here it was uh, uh, display the pictures in the forms of pixels, and here we can uh, uh, we, the monitor can either display the images or the like, text in black and white, or it may be displayed col multiple colors. There are many types of monitors that will be like a uh, uh, cathode ray tube, LCD, and LED. So this important points you can write for the monitor. Okay, then this is the monitors. The next output devices is the plotter. See the machine. This is the plotter machine. Plotter is an output device 
that is used to produce graphical output on paper so the graphical images for producing the graphical images on the paper we are using this plotter it uses a single color or multicolor pens to draw the picture so it, it here this plotter may also in single color or it may be also in the multiple color okay this is also one of the output device the next output device is printer you all know printer right so what is the use of printer it is also to print the images or text we have two types of printer that is one is the impact printers and the second one is the non-impact printers so the first uh, impact printer means so here this printer print with st striking of characters uh, striking striking of pins or hammers on ribbon so this impact printer works like striking like uh, striking with the hammers um, so the impact printer means here this printer uh, prints uh, print with striking of hammers or pins on ribbon so it works like uh, how it work means it works like the striking of hammers on uh, or pins on the ribbon here it may be the printers can be print on multi-part by using the mechanical pressure so it pr print by using the carbon paper by using mechanical pressure that means by machine uh, by uh, by pressing or uh, by striking the letters will be print on the uh, paper so here we can uh, divide this uh, back printer into two types dot matrix printer and the lion matrix printer so dot matrix printer means here the dot matrix printer print using a fixed number of pins okay so dot matrix means it will print you it will print using fixed number of pins so the each dot is produced by a tiny metal rod called as wire or pin which works by the power of a tiny electromagnet or solenoid either directly or through a set of small levers so uh, here it generally prints one line of text at a time so the second point we can write for that matrix is it prints one line of text at a time at a, at a time it can able to print one line the printing speed of this printer or varies from 30 to uh, 1550 cp so what is dot matrix printer here the dot matrix printer will print for a fixed number of pins or wires here uh, here the it can it will print only one line at a time and the speed was varies between 32 uh, 1550 uh, cps that is character per second then line printer line printer means so it line printer can able to print thousand lines per minute so dot matrix can print only one text in a minute but here the line printer can print more than thousand lines per minute so this printer also uses mechanical pressure so that the dot printer also uses mechanical pressure and here this line printer also use the mechanical pressure to print the multiple part okay so this is about the impact printer next is the non impact printer so non impact printer this printer do not using striking mechanism for printing they uses electrostatic or laser technology so this non impact printer using electrostatic or laser technology while wire the impact printer using the mechanical pressure that means striking mechanism for printing but here the non impact printer using electrostatic or laser technology for printing the uh, text here the speed of this printer are better than the impact printer it is faster than the impact printer here we are having two types the laser printer and inject printer 
so first one is the laser printer so laser printer means it mostly work this similar technology used by photocopiers it makes the laser beam scan and back and forth across the drum inside the printer building up a pattern i think you all know right this laser printer you all may you all may have seen this laser printer so how we all, we want to keep the paper under the top of the printer and uh, by giving um, by giving how many paper come, how many print we want to take we want to click in the uh, system, uh, system or machines then we can take the print out right so here um, so you can able to take the graphical images also we can able to take the black and white printout we can able to take the colored printout um, also so here this it can able to take approximately we can print thousand hundred pages per minute so using this laser printer we can print thousand uh, sorry hundred pages per minute so this is about the laser printer then inject printer means so the inject printer here we are using the colored uh, uh, you are using the colored cartridges which combine magenta yellow and cyan so for the inject printer we are using color combinations like magenta yellow and cyan links to create the color tones so your black cartridge is all used for monochrome output so inject printers work by spraying uh, ionized ink at the sh uh, sheet of the paper so here the inject printer was working based on the inks we are uh, we, um, we are uh, that means we are filled inside the printer so by what are the colors we are using here magenta yellow and cyan colors by this uh, spraying of these inks we can able to uh, print the images or the text so sp the speed of this inkjet printer was ranges from 1 to 20 paper per minute okay so these are the uh, output devices of the um, computer so what all the output devices we have seen till now monitor then uh, plotter then scanner so we can able to sorry printer so there are two types of printer impact printer and non-impact printer in impact printer we have two types dot dot matrix printer printer and the line matrix printer again the non-impact printer so it was non-impact printer works based on the electrostatic technology here we have two types that is laser printer and the inject printer and the next output devices was the speaker is also one of the output device what is the use i think you all know about speaker right you what you know the um uses of speaker what is it will produce the voice output the the voice that means the if you want to play any uh, songs or any text while well, we are connecting this speaker to the computer or computer we can able to uh, get the voices through that speaker so that is also one of the output device then projector we are using the projector no so that is also one of the output device so for displaying any presentations we are using this uh, projectors so the projector is also one of the output devices okay so this is all about the output devices then booting of computer so we have two types of booting that is the cold booting and warm booting so what is mean by cold booting means when a system starts from the initial state that is it is switched on we call it as the cold booting or hot booting when the user press the power button the instructions are read from the room to initiate the booting process so that means the cold booting means the the system start from the initial that means from the starting initial state is called the cold booting and the warm booting means when the system read starts or when the reset button is pressed we call it as the warm booting um like uh, in the mobile also we have no uh 
reboot uh, that means reset button or reboot button reboot button means it will not start it will start from the uh, it will start from the starting but reboot means it not switched off just if you are giving the reboot means it will not switch off the mobile right it will again start so that is called the mom booting so cold booting means when the system start from the internet that means switched off then it switched on that the process we can call it as cold booting and the uh, warm booting means while we are pressing only the restart button or the reboot button means that is the cold sorry warm booting mm, that means it will not start from the initial state that is the warm booting okay guys so this is about the uh, booting of computer two types cold booting and warm booting so today we learn about some of the today we learn about some of the input devices output devices and the booting booting of computer okay guys thank you bye